Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to install Raspbian operating system and we are going to take the Raspbian Jesse operating system installation on SD card and after installation on SD card, we will be going to have live demonstration of Raspbian Jesse on Raspberry Pi and we will be doing some settings on Raspbian Jesse operating system over Raspberry Pi to make it configure on remotely via my laptop using Putty software. So before we start the installation, let me tell you, you have to go to this website called raspbypi.org slash download slash raspbian and now you can click on this torrent or download zip to download raspbian jesse. So I have already downloaded this uh, version that is on my downloads and you can find that there is a download zip file. If I click on properties, you can find it is about 1.32 GB and if I double click it, you will be having this image over here. So you have to just extract that image on any of your drive or any location of your hard disk. So right click and click on properties. It is about 3.66 GB. So in order to install Raspbian Jesse, you need to have two softwares. That is one is called SD formatter and Win32 disk manager. So what I do, why well, first of all, insert my SD card into my SD card reader. So let me, uh, you can say open uh, SD formatter. So click yes. So I just have to delete this volume label. I click on option. I click on on and click OK and click on format. So now what I have to do, I have to just double click on this Win32 Disk Manager. Click yes. So I have to click browse. I go to my D drive download version. So here is the image file. So click open and click write. So click yes. So it will take some time to install about uh, you can say three to four minutes and after that I will be doing some live demonstration on Raspberry Pi how to you can say do some settings how to boot what is the graphical interface and then we will be doing some settings and then I will be accessing the Raspbian Pi Jesse operating system via Putty software. So till we pause the video and we return once it is finished. So now we can see that it is almost 97%. And yes, it has given the message right successful. So we click OK. And now we just eject our uh, SD card, which has already been installed with Raspbian Jesse. And we move to Raspberry Pi and we will do the live booting of Raspbian Jesse operating system. And then we will be configuring its network and enabling some commands in order to do the putty session with my laptop. So now you have seen that I have already installed Raspbian Jesse, which is the full version which I have downloaded from raspbypyorg slash downloads in this SD card. So what I will do in this video now, as you know that first of all, we have connected the SD, uh, you can say uh, we're going to connect the SD card on this Raspberry Pi. So let us first of all connect this. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to boot Raspbian Jesse on Raspberry Pi. We have connected our keyboard, our mouse and a Wi-Fi dongle onto this. We have connected a HDMI port as well as a power port. So what we will do, we will first of all boot Raspbian Jesse and now after that I will be telling you how to remove, um, you can say this, uh, 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 you can say this problem of HDMI cable. So you have to not have to connect the Raspbian Pi again and again. So what we will do, we will just connect with the Ethernet port or with the Wi-Fi to the computer via Putty. So uh, this part we will be doing uh, with some settings also. So how to do it, let us fire the install, uh, you can say that uh, the bootable part of Raspbian Pi Jesse. So let us on the Raspbian Pi. Now you can see that it is on and now you can see the screen and it has started the boot. So first of all, we will be doing the main, uh, you can say interface to the desktop and then I will be showing you how to configure Raspbian Pi with some commands and how to make it enable to go with that command based boot so that we can connect it to our computer and then we will be enabling the Wi-Fi networking onto our Raspberry Pi using this uh, uh, ATL 4G router or you can say or any router if you have it so we just have a mac filter which i have already put at the mac filtering identity of this uh, uh, dongle onto my 4g router so now you can see that raspbian pi automatic login has done and now we are going to start with the desktop so again you can say that uh, it is having the same uh, desktop as you can see in my last video of noobs 
so let us uh, go to this terminal and now first of all let us give the command that is sudo password so now it will be demanding you with the password so let us give my name now let us log in with a uh, super user that is su space minus enter let us give the password so now you have seen that the root and the raspberry pi has been logged in so present working directory is known as slash root and if i go to this command that is called if config now you can see that it is not having anything over here because it is disabled so i am going to demonstrate you regarding how to enable wireless networking and configure raspbian pi in just a matter of seconds now let me tell you how to first of all enable the wireless networking onto this raspbian pi so that we can have the ip address so let us first of all click on this logo, on this icon now you can find that it is a 4g network so let me give my password that is So let me give this password and let us click OK. So now you can see that it has uh, taken the IP address. Now let us check the IP address with the command that is if config. Yes. So now you can see that the IP address has been assigned that is 192.168.102. So let us ping Google that whether we have the connectivity or not. So ping google.com. Now you can see that the response has been coming. So now we come to the most important part that you can see that Raspbian uh, Jesse has brought it into graphical user interface. Now what we have to do, we have to control the Raspbian Pi operating system same with this uh, setup, but we don't have to use the HDMI interface. We have to connect by the ethernet or by the dongle into our computer by party. So we will be doing that experiment in this video itself. And first of all, for that, we have to make some configuration changes. So for that, we have to give this command. Let us clear the terminal window. We have to give the command that is called raspi hyphen config. So press enter. Now there is a file system over there. So expand file system, which means that SD card might be using some part of the file system. So we have to expand. So press enter. So it has expanded. So click OK. And now we have to go to this option called boot options. So press enter. Now you can find this is a console. So console automatic login, desktop or desktop automatic login. So we have to go with the first part that is console so that we can have the text based user. Okay. So press OK. Now it has done and we have to go and select finish. So we have to reboot the Pi because we have made some changes and now let us see whether we are able to log in with our root password at the command user mode also. So let's press yes. So it will take some time and now you can see that the Raspbian Pi has started booting up. So now we just have to on the Raspberry Pi, we don't require this LCD monitor. We can connect it via Wi-Fi onto our computer using PuTTY. So you can find the login over here. So let us give the login as root and let me give the password. So now you can see that the command login has come up. And if I go with this command that is called if config. So now you can see that the IP address is being allocated. So now let us remove all these connections and let us go to Putty and let us go with the remote connection of this. But, uh, but before that we have to enable one thing more. So we have to again go to that is called raspi-config. And now there is one option also that is called configure advanced sections and over here we have the SSH. So we have to make the security, we have to enable this. Okay. Now we have to go to finish. So now your Raspbian Pi is ready to take connections via Putty. Thank you. So now let us open Putty and uh, let us have the remote connection with my laptop and the Raspberry Pi. So double click on putty.exe. It's a freeware software which you can download from the internet. Just search its name. Like suppose that if I go to google.com 
and uh, if I just search P U T T Y so click on this putty download page and you can download it from over here okay so it's a very basic software and it doesn't require any installation so just download and double click and run it so now let me type the IP address of Raspberry Pi over here which has been provided uh, to it by my Airtel 4G router 1.1 103 192.168.1.103 so click on open and now you can find this potential security breach warning so ignore it so click on yes so now you can find that it has given login as so I give it pi and it will ask for the password so I will give the default password as raspberry and voila so now you can see that I have got the login so I can control uh, uh, my Raspberry Pi from this uh, putty and I can configure anything so in the coming videos I will be talking more about it regarding how to configure it as a telnet server how to configure it as a web server how to make an IP camera so lots and lots of things I have planned for you people so keep in touch with my YouTube channel so all those please subscribe to my YouTube channel it is youtube.com slash Anandayar I hope you like this video in which I have done a detailed configuration of how to download the Raspbian operating system, how to install it on the SD card, how to boot on the, uh, you can say, Raspberry Pi, how to do some configuration options of network as well as some various settings so that you can bring this login screen of Putty uh, on or your computer and uh, we have used Putty software in order to remotely access our Raspberry Pi. So do give it a shot. I hope you like this video. Thank you.